Hi, my name is Per, and we're going to do an experiment on electrolysis. The materials, the materials you need. Hi, my name is Per, and today we're going to do an experiment on electrolysis. The materials you will need are a measuring cup, salt, a spoon for mixing, a battery, some wires with clamps, a jar, water, baking soda. This may be optional, but if you want to go further into your experiment, you may use stuff such as baking soda, lemon juice, and other acids. And lastly, two pencils which will serve as conductors. So the first thing you do is you get Mike, it's your cup, you fill it until the 120 milliliter mark and then went past that and you do this three times. Now we add the salt which is, which is going to be 40 grams. Each gram is equal to one milliliter. Now we'll add it while gently stirring. So make sure you have a good glow through there. So already get incorporated. You can get a simple piece of cardboard and then you you should get your pencils and poke them inside. Make sure the pencils are double-sided, that they're sharpened at both ends. Now, the next thing you do is we're going to get our wires, and then we're going to clamp them on our battery here. Now, we're going to put the red one in the red one. Now, we're going to put the yellow one on the blue one. Yeah, it's already starting to bubble. And you, do you know why? It's because the salt is made out of two components, sodium and chlorine. The electricity broke all bonds from the hydrogen and the oxygen. So they're just floating around freely. And then they bump into sodium and then they, they bond together. But there are also some hydrogen left out. Chloride, which I explained doesn't bond with the hydro hydrogen and oxygen, is also bonding with nothing. The hydrogen bonds with itself and the chloride bonds with itself and goes into the air in the form of bubbles like you can see here. I hope you like this video. Please feel free to try this at home. Bye!